I had the exact same game against G2, game five, for the exact same stakes. You win, you're in, you lose, you're out. And 12 months ago, it was a heartbreak, you know? It was really, really emotional, really hard times, but I, I hope they can do it this time around. It's crazy that a year later, I'm still involved in it. I'm casting the game that decides if they're going to get through. Dude, I'm nervous for them. Yeah. So it's Sally Sports failed to make the playoffs again. They couldn't quite do it. Almost a year ago, the UK-based org found themselves one win away from playoffs with their final game against G2. They lost. Last weekend, history threatened to repeat itself, but this time, empowered by BTXL Academy players Marcun and Advien, XL faced G2 once again. They'd already taken down the former MSI champions in their Academy Duo's LEC debut, but this time the Samurai were out for revenge. Like Viego's ultimate, Captain Wonder were the heartbreakers, snowballing the game to an easy win after a punishing double TP play. Crisis coming back in as well, Caps is TPing! Can they do it? Have they thrown it all the way? Patrick, still no QSS, still no tools to protect him. Wonder running him down. Caps holding onto the all, waiting for the Draven to get a little bit closer. Where is he? He's going forward. He's going to use it on himself. Patrick, no mana, but he's got axes. Maybe, just maybe. He cannot do it. They're going to go for the kill. They've shut them down. They've obliterated Excel. It's a massive throw. Excel saw it all right in front of them, and they threw it all away. G2 with a beautiful punish. To be honest, I don't think any fan of this team should be disappointed. Yes, it may look like they have not progressed, finishing 7th two summer splits in a row, but that obviously is simply untrue. What's different this time is the rise in performance since the injection of their new jungler and support. After replacing Checo Lad, Nukeduck put in some solid performances, particularly on the LeBlanc in the mid lane, to pair nicely with the volley bear of Marcune. Long-time XL ADC Patrick showed up in some big ways too, on the famous Draven of his. Every rollout out of the top lane, at least in my opinion, is stable. If they wanted to upgrade, then the European Regional Leagues and EU Masters is an entire ocean of talent to dip into. Some may exist even in the LEC from departing orgs, goodbye Schalke, we will miss you, or benched players elsewhere. Speaking of EU Masters, keep your eyes on Europe's Tier 2 scene closely as playoffs will begin. XL fans, where does this team go from here? Let us know in the comments below. While you're at it, feel free to leave a like on the video and subscribe. We cover everything on this channel here at Esports News UK. League, Valorant, Sim Racing and more. If it's on this little island, we've got you covered. Right, back on with the video. So what's next? Well, head coach Youngbuck had this to say on Twitter after the match on Sunday. Since coming in from Fnatic, there have been high expectations on him to deliver results. This was supposed to be the six-star general to guide Excel to the first playoffs since becoming a franchise in the LEC. How long is the tether that Youngbuck has? Well, not quite sure, but if there is ever an answer to this question, spring 2022 will be it. Excel has already made adjustments to their roster, so I expect it to stay pretty much untouched for the sake of consistency moving forward. A good sign for supporters is that the staff at Excel clearly are not satisfied and are feeling the weight of that crushing loss on the final day. A loss, though, that honestly might not have mattered had they not been beaten twice by SK, a team very much in transition that moved star support treats into the jungle, a team that moved their best player out of his best role. But if there was ever a time ever a roster and ever an opportunity for the UK-based org to fire back, then spring 2022 is it. A fresh start, a full split with this roster that was ever so close despite not forming until later in the weeks with the injection of Marcoon and Advien. And this loss will sting for a while. After finishing one spot behind playoffs last season as well, there must be an instinct for drastic changes. But I think those changes have already happened. I hope Excel believes in this core and lets it develop. Time is everything. They are just on the cusp now, and in later years, they will absolutely break through. I have no doubt about it. Small change incrementally can lead to later and greater results. Just look at current Top Dodge Rogue. Hans, Larson, and Inspired have been together now for four seasons. And the next step to becoming the force of Europe came with the injections of Odo and Trimby. Excel have followed a similar path, and I believe they, can, they will continue to do so. For now, though, XL will be looking from the outside inward once again, as Europe's best compete for the crown and ultimately a crack at Dan One's throne later at World 2021. Who will represent Europe in the flight to Shanghai? Well, we'll find out shortly.